hey guys uh, welcome back um, in the first video um, i was talking about um, why do we need channel estimation in the first place okay then to perform the channel estimation what is required that is pilot uh, that was spoken and to perform the best channel estimation what are the requirements so i was talking about a good snr and i was talking about that uh, we should transmit the pilots on more number of symbols and things like that right so then we saw what could be the intuitive algorithm to do the channel estimation and which could be actually simpler but in the second video uh, so what we have seen is we have used the one particular uh, uh, channel uh, estimator that is least square estimator and we saw that uh, if we design the pilots uh, in a certain way then whatever the intuitive way we have spoken in the first video uh, that would match with the least square estimator formula okay so but this least square estimator would become the optimal solution when we have good snr right so considering those things uh, uh, into picture today let us see you know to do the best channel estimation what all things are provided by the tgpb specifications what has been specified what has been conveyed to either either uh, uh, you know the base station uh, people or uh, you know, to the uv uh, uv people who are going to write the algorithms so the first thing uh, is I was telling this requirement of pilot, right? So, what has TGPP mentioned about it? So, TGPP has given the requirement of pilots. Okay. So, right now I am in 38.211 uh, TGPP specification. I have directly opened it. Okay. If you go to section 6.4, there is a physical channels and then we have the reference signal. So mainly I am right now covering the pilot symbols requirement for QSCH. So here in case of 3GPP specification, these pilot symbols, we are calling it as a reference signals. Uh, you know, we, it, the other name is the demodulation reference signal. Okay, this is nothing but DMRS. So here the pilot requirement is given. There is no escape. Uh, uh, that uh, you cannot uh, avoid the channel estimation you have to do the channel estimation and there should be minimum one symbol across which you know the reference signal should be transmitted and that is what uh, is specified over here so if you see there are uh, uh, various ways of generating the signal uh, sequence generation okay so when uh, the transform pre coding is disabled uh, we have to use uh, these kind of formulas I will not go to the formulas or details as of now. I want to cover uh, basically the requirements. How how does the uh, pilot look and and what are the criteria used for these pilots to get the better channel estimate? So this is the sequence that we are supposed to generate. And uh, basically, you know, if you see this one, hmm, uh, what I will we'll just take the marker. So if, if you see this one, then uh, this can be expressed as uh, e to the power of j phi value. Okay. So this c c of n values can be uh, you know generated using this subclass. I will not go through there, but if you actually go to that and finally if you try to derive the R of n, it can be expressed uh, in terms of this. And as you can see, the magnitude will be one. All right. So we got to know how does the sequence look like and even in fact uh, there is another section uh, you know this one where you know the transform recording is disabled even in this case the sequence is given something like this and uh, you know if you carefully see that RUV uh, that particular equation uh, so one second that is there in so where do we find this RUV, uh, RUV of n? Mm, it will be in 5.2.3. Okay. 
so we can go to that particular section 5.2.3 uh, okay so where is it okay here is 5.2.3 then you will see that uh, you know this ROE of n is given by um, something uh, uh, or u v r bar right how does how does uh, my r bar would look like r bar would look like this and there is a r tilde r tilde depends on sequence length and uh, these are the various uh, sequences over here so r tilde uh, for length let's say 30 so as you can see it is actually you know one dot k to the power of j5 it is of this format so now from the spec um, uh, we got to know it is a uh, uh, the, the dmrs could be you know something like k to the power of j5 hmm? all right so uh, in the previous video if you go through you will get to know that uh, to use the least square estimator uh, uh, in a simplistic way okay so i will just write the least square estimator over here so how was the least square estimator looking so it was like something xp uh, you know armesian xp wall inverse you know xp armesian right and uh, y bar so this would give my h uh, h at h estimate so if we use uh, this one then xp armesian into xp will become one and we can eliminate uh, the least uh, this inversion operation which would make my uh, you know estimation simpler and uh, this will just become you know the conjugate of uh, this value right so if um, we have uh, just y bar then if you know the dmrs uh, you know let's say this dmrs is x uh, dmrs then at the receiver you have to do just x star of uh, dmrs something uh, like this okay so this would uh, be sufficient uh, uh, to to perform a least square estimation all right so so this is one of the advantage of considering such a kind of uh, uh, you know the dmrs uh, sequence that would help us to perform the estimation or uh, yeah estimation algorithm much simpler okay otherwise we have to end up implementing these kind of inverses for every um, sub carrier and that would have been costly and i was telling that uh, uh, you know uh, the dmrs will have i mean uh, if we have a better snr then we can estimate the dmrs very well so considering that uh, in um, you know this this specification is 38214 uh, okay all right so i will just take the marker okay so 38214 okay so uh, this is a section 4 and uh, here we have a power control so if you go to that and specifically uh, you know this will be common for both uplink and downlink if you see that you know the data you can consider this as a generic uh, you know data data epre which is energy per resource element which means energy per sub carrier you can think so to the dmrs epre the ratio they have given okay if you see that usually we will use this kind of uh, um, configuration which for which there is a 3 dp down what does this mean which means that dmrs is transmitted with more power right so as i was telling if we have a very good snr we can estimate the channel uh, uh, very better so here we here it is asked to, to transmit the dmrs with more power and it and we can expect some better snr and with that we can expect it to have uh, uh, you know the better channel estimation so what does this mean which means that let's say you take uh, the symbols this is data let's say data then this is dmrs then data then data then dmrs so which means that if th these are all dmrs are all 0 db uh, you know 0 0 dbm uh, power levels then this would be 3 db down which means that this will be minus 3 uh, dbm all right so if you take uh, uh, you know the difference this should be 3 db down 
okay that is achieved over here so i hope you got the clarity and if you go down okay um, i will go back to this so here uh, in 38211 okay 38211 if you go back okay right now where i am um, i will go to i will go to sequence generation location itself uh, in section 6.4 and if i see over here at the bottom then they will also specify on on which all symbols you can transmit the dmrs okay this is the table so in this table um, i think i have covered one of the videos maybe i will try to give it in the description link so that is the OFDM grid right so OFDM grid this is uh, nothing but sub carrier this will be no, nothing but your OFDM symbols so in one particular slot okay this is one slot uh, we will have a uh, static configuration for this particular slot and then uh, uh, you know we transmit the data um, like that on every slot and this slot will be having 14 symbols right like this we will have 14 symbols so one two three four da, 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 up to 14 symbols out of these 14 symbols as i was telling minimum one symbol is required for uh, you know the dmrs so let's say this is the one which requires a dmrs right so if you see this uh, that is exactly what is specified uh, in this particular table so usually let's say you know number of uh, pus data is 14 means for now it could be 12 also let's say if it is 14 then minimum one uh, this l0 can be 3 which means that uh, you know the third symbol is having the uh, dmrs like that uh, we can for different scenarios we can have uh, when maybe the snr is low we we can have more number of dmrs symbols okay so if you see here we can have two okay one is at the third and one is another one is at the 11th all right like that we can have even you know if you think between three and four the channel is ch getting changed and you can place one more dmrs at the seventh symbol like that we have multiple options over here okay um so i i hope you got to know you know even uh, tcpp has given a flexibility to have less number of symbols or more number of symbols depending upon the snr conditions and many other scenarios to perform the channel estimation very better i hope you got the clarity in terms of what we discussed uh, about uh, the channel estimation in the first and second video and how we are linking those concepts uh, uh, to the things that are specified in 3gpp if you're looking for more videos please do subscribe to the channel uh, right now i will end up I uh, will see uh, more concepts of channel estimation in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye bye.